Now we get to question four. The question four says, if you are 80 kilograms on Earth, how many kilograms would you be on the moon? Or how many kilograms would you be in outer space? Okay. The first time when you see this problem, you might think, oh yeah, well you would weigh less on the moon or in outer space, so probably you're gonna put less, a lot of people, right? But you have to realize there's a little trick to this question. 80 kilograms is a unit of mass, okay? Your mass is 80 kilograms. Your mass won't change no matter where you go. If you go to outer space, it'll be 80 kilograms. If you go to the moon, it'll be 80. Unless, of course, you diet along the way. So actually, the answer is the same. You are gonna be the same mass. Now, if it had told you a person weighs, let's say, 180 pounds, on earth, how many pounds would you be on the moon? Then pounds is a unit of force, okay? So you would say you're going to weigh less on the moon. You're still going to be the same mass, but you're going to weigh less on the moon because the gravity of the moon is less, right? So you have to know your units and whether the unit is a unit of mass or a unit of weight. So in this case, it's a unit of mass, so the answer was the same. Okay.